This is Mark II, and we're going to embark on our beautification of the ranch project. Conditions are deteriorating rapidly here at the ranch. We have uh, cows and pigs cohabiting. We have uh, sheep cohabiting with the pigs and with the cows. There's also a pig in there somewhere, or there was. That might be the pig. It might have escaped. I'm having escapes. I had two green sheep escape yesterday. I uh, captured them and got them back in there, but uh, sheep in with the pigs. The only ones that no one seems to want to sneak in with are the sheep. I'm not sure what to make of that. Maybe it means something. Anyway, the, uh, the beautification project is going to be some fairly standard construction. Not particularly interesting, nothing... Uh, groundbreaking, nothing um, particularly interesting except for uh, it'll be better looking when we get done with it. Oh, let me turn this up. Uh, I've done some surveying and I know what I'm going to do first. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'll record it and then I'll make a uh, time lapse. So, um, so we'll do it in a time-lapse format, and then hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to get some of the original uh, screenshots of the, uh, the ranch as it is so that we can do kind of a before and after uh, retrospective, if it, as it were, of the, uh, of the um, beautification project. For right now, there's going to be a bit of terraforming. There's going to be some uh, harvesting of things that aren't going to be available in the same areas where they are now. Uh, this is going to be kind of a project. The first thing is the barn. We'll be building a barn. And so, uh, just stay tuned for that. Uh, I don't know if I'll time-lapse the entire project, but, um, but I'll do a good bit of it. So hang in there and uh, we'll talk to you when we're on the other side of the time-lapse.
Okay, let's take a little uh, perspective here. We've got the uh, the barns completed. There it is, looking like a, a block house. There's the XP farm. There's a bunch of possibly escaped cows, definitely escaped brown sheep. And I saw the lime green sheep too over here. They're lost forever. I'm not going to try and get them back. Um, Got to figure out how to distribute that, and I'll get into that more later. But for now, what I wanted, <coughs> excuse me, what I wanted to do was um, have a look here and see if my vision matched up with uh, with the design, or the design matches the vision. So what we're going to do is take a little trip up the uh, the sand elevator. I did make sure that I have a good shovel with me, I think. If not, I could probably jump into that little lake down there safely. I don't know. And in any case, um, my uh, respawn point is right there where the, uh, uh, the XP farm is. farm has uh and there we are okay yeah i think that if from this altitude it looks pretty close to what i had in mind i reflected the design of the xp farm in the barn and that's going to change somewhat but not right away um those are always going to be there the um there's no point in taking those those torches down they're fine nobody ever sees them the only reason they're there is to to keep the uh, mobs from spawning. Oh my goodness, and we're in a cloud. So uh, so we're in IFR conditions at this time. So uh, please fashion your safety belts. The uh, flight crew will be distributing snacks. I want to, um, well actually, once this cloud gets by us, uh, we'll probably be, uh, have a better perspective on on that and hopefully there we go okay yeah so there it is and that's uh, that's pretty much what I had in mind that it would be reflected now that it isn't identical the um, the barn is actually 31 by 31 going across the maximum width and the uh, the XP farm is 30 by 30 I wanted that to be um, an odd number because I wanted to be able to have walls in between because each one of these is now a segregated pen and how I'm going to uh, uh, divide those up is still a little bit open to question I don't um, I've had a lot of livestock escapes and the uh, of course the sheep had gotten into everybody else's pen and I have a lot of sheep and, and I want all the different colors so um, probably I'm I was thinking for a while I'd be able to have all the sheep in one but I think sheep are going to be in in two of them this one's gonna be pigs because that's where I have two pigs this one only has one cow in it so I'm not sure um, that'll probably I'll probably try and get the other cows in there somehow or another or at least one other cow in there and start a, a, a herd again and then have these two dedicated to uh, various colors of sheep. So now we need to find out if I actually have that shovel or not. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So anyway, uh, here we go. There's a way to do this with a torch. Uh, the torch automatically breaks, but I think you have to be down at the bottom. I think you probably probably would have had to have jumped all the way to that lake um, and then just chopped one and, and the torch underneath would have broken them all up something like that anyway and I've, yeah that lake's probably deep enough for a, a safe fall
Anyway, back to the fun of building and doing the uh, uh, the beautification project. There's brown sheep skirt. Where that lime green sheep go? Maybe he got out here somewhere. There he is. Just killed a bull there. Where the bull is? Oh, I should get some of his wool. escape. Okay, so let's yeah, I think you can free range the brown wool too. See in survival mode you have to be an opportunist. You want to take advantage of whatever you can do. Oh, before I sign off, you might have noticed I put fences on these bottom levels. That's just to facilitate grass growing into the barn so that they'll have grazing because the uh, the sheep need it. I think the other animals don't really care that much, but uh, we'll leave it in there anyway. So there we go. That's the uh, that's the progress so far. Uh, next, I'll be um, still working out here in the farming area. The uh, the farm will be going, and uh, we'll show you what I have in mind for that. So until then, thank you very much. Okay, well that was fast. It took about a week of real time to get to this point. And where we're at right now is kind of interim. We've got the um, the outside more or less where it is. There's some details that we still need to work on. Uh, but we will do that in time. But for now I had finished the last of the major structures outside. And that's this one here, the chicken coop. I was going to put the chicken coop over where it is now but that wasn't practical because of uh, how big I want to make the house. 
So we're going to go up here and get the aerial view again. Hopefully I've gone yeah, okay, far enough away from the uh, the XP farm to uh, to do this. Careful not to fall long way down. Starting to see uh, what I did with the gardens. I promised that I had an idea for it, and that was the idea. I would put my gardens on top of the, uh, the barn. And I had this vision of doing it in such a way that it would look kind of like flying over uh, middle America, the middle part of America, where uh, you look down and you just see patches of uh, different kinds of crops. And in the old days, they were square. I think last time I did it, and it's been a while, but last time I did it, they were uh, they were round. They've used these uh, new irrigation system that that kind of goes around like a whirly gig, and uh, and they're not they're not square so much anymore. Let's see if I can scoot up a little bit. I probably should have been holding shift right then. That would have been a long fall. I don't have my feather fall boots on either. But there's the uh, the chicken coop. It's not going to have any crops on top of it, at least not right away. Maybe I'll change it. It's basically a half scale of the, uh, the XP farm and the barn. There's the house. You see I've laid out where the, uh, the outer fence is going to be. I believe the um, storage silo is going to be just outside the fence. And the fence goes a little ways. Let's, uh, let's see if we can, for one thing, turn the music down a little bit. And for another thing, get the um, render distance far, just for a moment, so that we can see the, uh, um, the distance a little better. Oh, there, it takes a little bit of time on my ancient computer, but... Um, but here it comes, and there you can see uh, that there are uh, blocks that are marking out. Well, when the weather clears up here at a 64 block altitude, we will be able to see clearly what my plan is for my outer fence at least. Uh, there's the, uh, the XP farm, and uh, you can see the, uh, the chicken farm, which at this point you, you won't be able to see the, uh, the fact that it's the roof is lit with uh, with torches. I did that just as an expedient. Uh, I'll probably improve that as well as uh, lighting on top of the barn uh, sometime well after when this cloud passes. <coughs> Excuse me, it's very dry down here today. Uh, this is apparently a major uh, major cloud going by, but at any rate. So that's pretty much what my vision was without actually working from, uh, from an altitude. I don't think I could have done too much better as far as lining them all up the way I wanted to. I wanted them in this kind of uh, pattern like that, all looking kind of the same. The chicken coop is about half the size of the barn. The barn is almost exactly the same size as the XP farm, as the uh, uh, spawning chamber in the XP farm. There we go. Now we got a little, little clear weather. I have explored this entire ravine. This, uh, there was a fair amount of resources in it. Uh, and now, God. So, anyway, is there anything else that I? There's the swamps over there. There. Uh, I need to go over there and get some clay. Probably going to need some bricks. There's part of my runway when I need to. Do something about the, uh, the mobs spawning and keeping the count down, hogging the count, so that my XP farm isn't working as well. So okay, now you can clearly see there's the old chicken coop, which I, I was down to one chicken last time I checked. I don't know if it's 1.5, but it seems like um, 
ever since I installed 1.5, and I'm on 1.5.1 1 .1 now, but 1.5, it seemed like all my, my animals started escaping from regular fences. I don't think I've had that problem with the barn and its uh, stone block fences, but um, I'm just going to have to start over with chickens. Luckily, I have a lot of eggs. I have one chicken over there, and uh, chicken isn't doing me any good. So there we go. There's, uh, there's how big the fence is going to be. And I'll have a little bit of lawn around the house, and I've already designed the house. I do my design work on, um, on graph paper. Some people are a little more sophisticated than that. But anyway, as the sun sinks in the west, uh, we will, yeah, that's plenty bright. We'll go ahead and uh, sign off for now, and this will be the, uh, the kind of the middle. And the next big project will be the house. There's a lot of minor stuff. This middle piece of the barn is going to be uh, updated and, uh, and beautified. And I don't know if I'll do anything with the lighting on the chicken coop for a while. But I also need to do some underground work because that needs to connect up to my, uh, my tunnel system because it's a real pain to get around right now. Uh, if I want to go somewhere at night. Anyway, uh, until next time, this is Mark II. Have a pleasant day.